Thank you very much. We're going to, we have a long presentation that you can look at, but I'm going to pick on size because we've used the presentation as a way of capturing the work on it for, as a record for us, as well as a few, I kind of, we kind of like the two for one, and we do have some um, things to show you, and I'm watching the time. So first of all, this is uh, technology, so just flick through what our, partner, our partners are. The overview of the project, we started with the All Aboard Digital Skills Framework. UCD is a partner in that previous National Forum project, and that seemed a logical place for, for starting with them. We took a case study approach and uh, we took uh, that. Just to point out, this is the first learning and teaching project for the cluster. It's probably one of the few projects for the cluster. But that's a political sentence I probably shouldn't say. The All Aboard is the framework developed, uh, the digital skills framework was, is developed by a previous national forum one, and it makes sense for us to build on that. We like the idea of the Metro Map and looking at it and looking at it. Now, we've used it loosely, so you might sort of say, where in the case study have we got it? But it has been there, and you'll see some of the bits from it. Our Tell Week uh, was in March 2016. We didn't have a website. We had a hashtag. And uh, oh yeah, we have to follow up about the Twitter thing. And the project leads are there. So what were our case studies? Now, remember, we presented to you here last November. And I will never forget it, because I traveled for 20 hours to do it. Um, and um, we, we, we said we would do this. So this is what we have done. So we've had seven case studies from five institutions. Marino is about curriculum integration and imagination. This is a second year module in Marino for art primary teaching and it's about using Second Life. In UCD there were two case studies, a reusable learning resource which I'll show you in a minute uh, for undergraduate nursing students learning of wound care. I'm not going to play a lot of it because it's a bit gory. And then the snappies, oh it is, I mean it's wound care. Um, and the snappies for reusable learning object for postgraduate veterinary program. In Trinity they took a learning through reflection but it was for an engineering program. So there's a real innovation there in terms of reflection and engineering don't always go together, though in, they have done this project, uh, they should do. In, in, in IADT, we are running, we ran this year for, well, for the second time, but for the first time with a lot of 400 students. Now we're two and a half thousand, so to run a, a module for 400 students is, is pretty unique for us. And so it was an interdisciplinary transition to college. And then the NCUD ran two. Uh, uh, case study screens casting for teaching digital skills and then the technical skills to year one design students who need quite a lot of technical skills. So we're looking at that. We have a Blackboard open course site. Now it's open in the sense of anybody can think but you have to email us to, to gain access but we have that repository of, of the work there. So what I'm going to do now is just get out of this and to show you think now one of the things that, and I'm talking very fast, so I'm talking too fast, apologies, but you're going to have to live with it. Um, this is our digital school course sites. Um, anybody can apply and look at that. It was just to provide a way. We did, we did not, decided not to spend the money on the website and, and, and all of that. So let's look at uh, them. For three of the pro for three of the case studies, we have digital outputs. For other case studies, the, the work is still in progress. So I just want to show you as we were asked to. Here's this, oh, I have the snappy open. Sorry, here it is. So here's just a snappy. This is there's a little video. I'm just going to give you a clip of it. If it plays, I didn't check if it plays. Now, this is an articulate, right? and looking at there, which is the statements. So. The idea is the vet school in UCD are developing these, and they're developing them for a range of that. This is one that has been developed, but more have been uh, developed. Okay. This is the chronic wound assessment. I'm going to play a minute or so of that, if that. I'll start My on. name is Catherine Redmond, and I am a lecturer in the School of Nursing, Midwifery and Health Systems in UCD. I am presenting this session, which is focused on providing guidance mm, to nurses okay. on the assessment and dressing of chronic wounds. The skill of aseptic technique. All right, just there. These were these have been prepared earlier in the year, but they're being revised and developed further, and and their value being uh, their value being assessed and looked at uh, in terms of that. Um, we have from Trinity a. Um, video, an animation on reflection. Again, I'm just going to play a little bit of it. What do we mean by reflective learning? That statement has two parts to it. Reflective and learning. It might be more accurate to turn that statement around so it reads learning through reflection. So what is reflection and why is it relevant? 
Uh, one of the interesting things about this one is it was developed in response to a need in engineering, but actually it's a sort of standalone reflection video that can, that, uh, animation that can be used with any discipline. So it's a resource that was developed for a specific discipline that can be used widely across thing and indeed across the partner institutions and, and looking at that. Resume slideshow. So just to flick through these, so we are, this is Second Life. We, we haven't, um, this is the art gallery developed in Second Life by the lecturer in Marino, and it, it was enabled the students to explore different aspects of visual art, and these are primary teacher educators. Uh, we are not opening it because just by the time you open Second Life and all of that, that UCD. So there's just an image from the small Amazon medicine, there's the recruitment acceptance. Trinity was reflection. IDT, I've mentioned there, just want to show. I, what we did in IDT was we found we were focusing on the identity and well-being of aspect of the All Aboard and looking at our students' online identity, the, dig the digital footprints, and how they transitioned into college. Here are some digital artefacts they produced as part of the module um, there. And this is a, a, one of my colleagues has taken the All Aboard framework and said, well, from a, from a transition into college point of view, these are the aspects that we should be focusing on, online communication, social works, net, networking. So again, the All Aboard framework has been interpreted and developed uh, as part of this project, and I think, and, and, and I sent, I think, owned by all of us. And then some digital skills in old spaces from NCAD and, and, and revising room plans and looking at that. So what are the key outcomes? Well, let's just go to the project outcomes here. We had five dedicated local tell days, 21 independent presentations and workshops, including two conference presentations. We presented at EdTech 2016 um, two, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Um, there was 157 participants across five institutions who actually went to the tell days. 25 individual resources developed, and they're all, should be all in the course sites, we have to check that, 10 hours, and over 690 students exposed to new resources, and those are resources, in a sense, in this academic year, with the similar number being exposed in the next academic year, because the modules and the work that we're doing, they're, they're continuing. And looking at that. Um, what are the next steps of the project? Because one of the things that, that and actually, yeah, I'll look at that. Um, one of the things that, that, you know, we don't, you know, we've started the work, the work is in progress. So in um, Merino, they're going to look at uh, create, uh, you know, digital learning objects and for offline use. The, in UCD, it's style sheets and prominent pathways. Um, in uh, the second project, the VET one, it's developing the original template, but it's actually developing the snappies as part of a student um, staff partnership. So the students will be developing the snappies as well, and, and, and so you get, if you like, what you call the double whamming in terms of learning. IDT, we're, we're oh sorry, um, Trinity further develop the case study resources and expand the focus on reflection and run reflection workshops for right across the college. Um, so to embed reflection as, as a tool in, into undergraduate education. IDT, what we want to do and out of our project is develop a digital cool toolkit, simple short videos for students about basic skills because we, are, we find it very interesting about what skills the students, the digital skills the student had on entry into college. And then in NCAD it's workshops for staff, increased screencasting and devised blended learning resources. There are next steps. Uh, that kind of thing. So project evaluation, I'm going to slow down a little bit. I think I'm okay for time, but Nine I've... Minutes to oh, that's fine. That's fine. I should talk too fast. Uh, so project evaluation, on the proposal, we said we'd focus on the all aboard framework, speak case studies, develop resource, present at the tell week and evaluate. Fine, of course, like any projects, it didn't work because the order was wrong. Um, the tell week came in March. We got funding in January, so we sorted our case studies and we started work in January. Um, from January to March, things. So we we did our tell week and we our tell week. But in terms of resource development, it's happened a lot after the tell week and is still ongoing. Uh, the project implementation, the collaborative process, we've had regular meetings here. We've worked, I think we've gelled as a group, and I'm stepping out of it, the focus that. Develop the case studies, I think that has taken much longer. In my case, I got absolutely caught on ethics. I'm a head of department, I manage staff on the module, I manage the students. So when we check the ethics form, it's borderline. So we actually had to go through a very rigorous ethic program because I'm a head of department, because of the risks to students. So that took much longer than we anticipated, just to do it and that kind of thing. We presented that. 
Um, so we developed the case studies, um, developed the resources, the staff development for TAL, and right across the institutions, we're now in that stage of staff development. Um, in each of the institutions, the staff development was different depending on what they were. One of the things that came out of IEDT is that staff needed training and Excel. To manage 400 students, we had to use a spreadsheet, and the staff were saying, well, I did the spreadsheet this year. Um, I think, who's going to do it next year? So it is about, so that's one of the things in Marino, it was screencasting. David, in, you see this? Assessment issues. Assessment yeah. issues. Ref yeah. yeah, go animate and come to ASEAN to, to, to teach that and to develop these kind of resources. Right, and Nuno? So we're looking at staff development, and we're trying to, at the moment, evaluate the impact and the sustainability. As you know, not easy. If we were to have a Tell Week in 2017, uh, future integration, what we would do, the collaborative process would be maintained, and that the financial trigger has been essential. It had provided the reason for us to apply uh, for the funding. we focus. We'd seek the case studies earlier and, and develop them. Um, we had almost arrived here in November with our case studies sort of, sort of, but we didn't start work till January. So here we are in June with work started in January and look at that. Promote the tell week in advance, you know, this has felt like a, a little bit like a hamster on a wheel in terms of getting the project done. I think we're happy with, with, with what we've done. Undertake a little bit more comparative analysis and support the ongoing development of resources uh, and look at what, how the resources developed this year are actually being used. Because one of the things that happened, and I've argued this for, oh, how many years, the issue at times isn't resources. The issue at times is using the resources in a routine, everyday way as part of my teaching. That's the key thing, that a lecturer just automatically uses this screencast or that thing or this tool and just does it and doesn't even think about it. Then we've won, uh, because then it's sort of just saying, I'll make a screencast of this. Oh yeah, here it is, and we won. And that's what, what I, we would focus on there. The local and national impact, back to where I asked for that, well, the collaborative projects, the trigger, which is the national forum call and the seed funding. Very much the green light there, and these colours are chosen with, with um, uh, intent, shall we say. Uh, the seed funding, so that really was a green light. It got us going, it got us uh, together. Uh, the implementation, the timing, the short term, mid term, we just had to get the project done, so it was fasten your seatbelt and get it done. And we're here to say we've done it. Um, the scale and the local log logistics. That's always the issue and will always be an issue because we're all doing this on top of other, our, our other jobs. So it's getting the staff together. I had a fantastic group in, in IEDT who worked with me on that. Um, but, um, and we managed, but, but in other institutions, it isn't. The scale of the institutions, although we're different sizes, that when we compare the technology enhanced resigning resources across the different institutions, it's about the same. And it's probably 0.25 person, um, you know, if you, if you a pro rata. Uh, so we're doing that. The infrastructure, you know, you've, you've got to look at that. So future developments, the, the sustainable cooperation um, and that, the shared resources, looking at that and, and looking at, now IADT is never going to use the wounds with all due respect, David, but Trinity might because they have medicine. All right, so it's about sharing where we have a look at that. And then the shared cognition, that is about our own understanding about digital skills, our own understanding of the, the, the all aboard framework. And actually what, what, what I'm just saying it to the group earlier, what really struck me is that the, the all aboard has just become part of our toolkit. We just look at it and we're looking, and I was in another institution that didn't use it. So Sarah's telling me to move on. Some points about the central group learning. Some central group issues, again red, amber and uh, green for reasons. There's the all aboard reference, um, our social media presence and questions. <laughs>